Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm SaneW1015 and today's video we are going to be taking a look at a very special model um, from Lionel. Nonetheless, this is Lionel's Lion Chief Plus 2.0 K4 Pacific from the Pennsylvania. So without a further ado, let's take a look at this absolutely fantastic model. So starting off at the very front of the locomotive, now here we have a very nice pilot. Um, it's a more streamlined design. It was, um, so I believe this style of pilot was more commonly seen on K4, on later K4s, like after World War II and such. And the detail in this consists of mainly just, on, I don't know how well you can see on, on this side, but there are, oh, stop, don't focus on my hand. It has consists of some air hose detail and the um, dummy, and the dummy, cup, and the dummy scale coupler right here. Um, this coupler is not able to be removed, so it does not include a scale dummy coupler. Stop focusing on my hand. Um, let's see. Moving up the engine, we have steps on either side of we have steps on either side of the engine here. Moving up the smoke box door, we have nice uh, we have nice grab iron detail, and we have nice smoke box door detail with the uh, latches and clamps and such. And we also have a very nice keystone number plate on the very front of the engine. Um, I don't know how well you can see it. I'm getting out of freaking focus. Nope. It says it says 5400. I I can tell you I. I can tell you it says 50, I can almost guarantee you it says 5400. I'm looking at it right now. So moving up from that, we have a very nice, we have our, the engine's headlight up here, which again, another thing that, um, I say the headlight extended over the front of the boiler was something that was more prototypical of the earlier K4s before World War II, as after, after the war later K4s, they had their, the location of the headlight and the dynamo basically kind of switched with the headlight immediately in front of the smokestack and the dynamo on a platform extended over the boiler. But I'm not gonna complain, I honestly kinda, I honestly kinda prefer this style anyway. So we have a very bright LED headlight, um, the number boards, and the number boards on the side of the um, headlight do not light up. But aside from that, it's very nice. Alrighty, moving down the engine, we, ha we have these, we have, gra we have more grab irons which run the length of the boiler all the way back to the cab. So up here we have our dynamo, right immediately behind the headlight. We also have our smokestack. We also have the engine smokestack, which if you prefer, which I've mentioned many times that I don't like, I don't like, I don't like smoke fluid. I, I, I just don't like smoke fluid. But if you prefer, you put a few drops of smoke fluid down the stack, and the engine does have fan-driven smoke, which I might, which I will probably end up, which I, I have tested, and I probably will end up testing it again at some point, but. So back here we also have the engine's bell, which you can swing. It's very nice. You can do, do a 360 if you wish. Very nice. Um, a feature with some, I, I always love this. When the engines have, this engine has a um, builder's plate right here, Juliana Shops, K4. Mm, I do love, it says 1924 right there. See, I always love it when these engines come with um, builder's plates. I always love the little attention to detail and such. Um, so let's move on to the rest of the engine. So the engine, now we're looking at the locomotive's running gear. As you can see up here, the engine does have, just very nice die, has very nice die cast pistons. And the engine also has very nice running gear. It looks very elegant, very classy when the engine's running. Um, and I'll, I mean, so yeah, the engine's running gear looks very nice when it's running. Up here we have some more, we have some plumbing detail. I believe that's supposed to be some greasing detail. More plumbing, we have the um, air compressor, which is molded into the engine's main body. We have a tank back here, and we have some firebox detail over on this side. Moving on to the rest of the engine's boiler, we have our sand, we have our sand dome and our steam dome back here. You can't see it, but on the other side of the steam dome, there is a little whistle right over here. Um, moving back, we have the um, Bell Pair Firebox. Um, excuse me, the Bell Pair Firebox, which was iconic not only to the K4s too, but many other steam locomotives on the Pennsylvania. Um, you can see more of the. Uh, you can see the rest of the grab irons. Um, so you can see you get a, another look at the at some of the detail. We got the running boards, uh, the compressors, more firebox detail. Um, I also believe these safety valves are brass. I do believe that there are actually a multitude of brass parts on this engine. Um, excuse me, I forget which one, which parts are and which parts aren't brass. I think like maybe the, shoot, the pilot, the stack, 
and a few other parts I don't exactly remember. But so let's move on to the rest. All right, here we are at, back at the engine's cab, and so you can see one of the um, one of the feet, one of the reasons I I bought this locomotive. So I decided, so I bought the 5400 because I really liked the pen striping on this one. I am a sucker for pen for pen striping of any kind, and so I thought the pen striping looked very nice when I saw it in the catalog. And quite frankly, it does not disappoint here. I love it. So the engine's cab, we have nice, we have rivet detail throughout. We have there are two painted cab figures on either side of the cab. Got some more grab iron detail. Um, like I said, we have the very nice pen striping around the number, which is printed very nicely. Or any no spillage or anything like that. See, so we got some more detail down here. Don't exactly know what that's supposed to be representing. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but we can see the trailing truck right below here. And so with that, I will look to let you take a look at the inside of the engine's cab. Alrighty, so now looking at the engine's cab, you can see we got a little bit of back head, got a little bit of back head detail. Uh, it's nothing too much, nothing fancy, but it's still nice. Like I said, you get a better look at the two cab figures. And there is also, this is, and the engine also has a flickering, a lighted flickering firebox, which is very nice. I, I enjoy it. I mean, you can also see the eight pin draw bar. Which is used to which is used to connect the engine to the tender, and speaking of the tender, let's move on to the um, let's move on to the tender. So once again, we can get a brilliant look at all of the all the amazing pen striping along the tender. Um, once again, main, one of the main reasons why I bought this locomotive. So throughout the tender, there is um, so the tender is covered in good rivet detail. Once again, the pen striping is very clean, very crisp, so is the writing in Pennsylvania. Very well printed, very legible, no spillage, nothing like that. And also we got two die cast trucks, and we have the, and on the rear truck there is an electrocoupler, which again, another reason why I love these, these Lion Chief Plus two engines, they got all the, they got all the bells and whistles, you know. Alright, so now looking at the all right, so now looking at the very top of the tender, we have what is probably the nicest coal load um, in my collection. This is, is a real coal load, I believe, and it's without a doubt probably the nicest coal load I have in my entire collection. It is very realistic, has depth to it. I love it. The texture feels good as well. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. You can also see there are some more rivet detail and more pinstriping detail along the top of the tender. Again. Still a reason why I love this engine. All right, so now looking at the very back of the tender, you can tell along the top of the tender here, we have very nice rivet detail. We have a ladder going up here. We also have some water hatch detail, and this is, you know, it does not open, it's molded in, which is okay. Now along the back here, we have more, more, more pen striping, some more lettering right here, it says PRR. We also have a ladder along the back of the engine. And we also have a little plate here, and I don't know how well you can read it, but it says number 5400 K class K4. So that's very nice. We also have some ladders on either side of the on either side of the tender. And we also have our electrocoupler cup, <laughs> excuse me, our electrocoupler which I will demonstrate here in a minute. All right, so now that we have taken a look at all the engine's details and such, I'm now going to demonstrate the engine's sounds and a little bit of its mobility and whatnot. So let's jump right into that. Alrighty, now that I have the engine pow all powered up, you can see what I mean. We have our um, very powerful headlight. I don't know if I mentioned this when I was going over the engine details, but there, the locomotive has two lighted mark has two has two lighted marker lights on either side of the boiler, which you can see right there, glowing green. And you can kind of see it there in the very back. You can see a little bit of the firebox firebox flicker, which I'll show in a second. So first, let's go over the engine sounds. So here is the whistle. And that is honestly probably one of my favorite whistles I've ever heard on an engine like this. Um, I absolutely love it. And so here is the engine's bell. Very nice. It's a very nice, very nice bell. Here's some crew talk. Dispatcher, we're ready. Is it okay to pull? Over. Please stand by. Out. Dispatcher, we're ready. Is it okay to pull? Over. Take the grain. Out. 
So yep, there's some crit talk, very nice. So I don't exactly know how well you can see in there, but you can see the um, firebox is lit. It is it's flickering, it's doing its job. And also, when the locomotive is stationary, there is a cab light. It does, however, turn off when the locomotive is in motion, in motion going from either forwards or back, or backwards. So yeah, there's the firebox, firebox flicker. All right, now we're back at the rear of the tender. So now I'm going to, um, I guess, uncouple the, uncouple the coupler. So now this is some very nice sounds to accompany that as well. Also, one thing I did forget to mention is that this locomotive does not have a rear light, which I believe is prototypical of the K4s, but it, it, is, it is slightly unfortunate, but it doesn't, I don't really care for it. I don't really, I don't really care for it too much, so that's okay. But yeah, there is the electrocoupler. All right, so now that we got all of that out of the way, let's take her for a spin, shall we? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been my review of Lionel's of Lionel's uh, Lion Chief Plus 2.0 K4 Pacific. I hope you all have all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe for the channel. If you have any suggestions for future videos or anything like that, don't forget to comment below. I have I do take user suggested videos, so and I and I do have a few more in the works. So stay tuned for that. So. Like again, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video. This has been CNW1015 signing off. Have a wonderful rest of your day.